that's it's only fair to them because the top eight players each one of them i feel like has the potential to win like a xeno weekly so anyway now we are going into the match itself as stated before going to be rob versus greninja what are your thoughts on this matchup Hit me with it oh man it's gonna be a little bit tempting for the greninja player and in this case jay grunt to just try and overwhelm rob and just be like, hey, I'm going to run up in your face and hit a whole bunch of buttons. But we have to remember two crucial facts. One, it, it's Wi-Fi, and like sometimes that just doesn't end up working out. And two, Rob almost wants you to be in his face so he can set up the shenanigans out of down tilt, the shenanigans out of throws, and take all the benefit from that. But it looks like Jagron has taken a much more medial approach to the start of the set so far, taking his hits where he's getting them, but not trying to do too much. Yeah, one thing, he is definitely showing that he's very comfortable grabbing the gyro, not necessarily doing anything too cute with it, just throwing it up to remove it from play and also to control some space. Because, like, look at that. Now that gyro is there at the ledge and it's his. I actually, really smart. No, uh, MJ really knows the way his projectile works and putting the, uh, the gyro at the ledge wasn't really enough to phase him. Oh! But Jay Grunt, pretty, pretty aware of the counterplay, knowing that he can fight right through the gyro if it's uh, on ledge with that getup attack. And I, I even saw him prior using the substitute on that box just to add even more pressure into the center stage. A 140 to 148, there it is again, but MJ was ready for it. Yeah, no, that that substitute, I really like it as a as a, as a mix-up, as a cute way to create pressure, but one of the risks of it is, as we were seeing, he was going for the upwards angle. Great forward there, by the way, to clean off the stock. Um, but that does put him in the air. He had to burn a double jump while returning, so uh, I don't think it's something he can get too comfortable just going for because it will put him in a disadvantageous position against Rob, who is, like, being underneath Rob is... Oh, oh, yeah. Sorry, being above Rob, Rob is uh, being near <laughs> Rob is like a, a death zone. It's like, oh, you got dash being attacks. Far away from Rob is also pretty spooky. Have you seen the beam? He shoots out Where of his go? eyes. <laughs> Where do you go? I mean, honestly, the way to go is inside of him, as in, like, just stay in his zone. Uh, Greninja can apply a ton of pressure, and we're seeing how he's approaching from these, uh, like, you know, the diagonal angles, which Greninja in general likes to do. And, like, Rob down tilt, that's not effective as w at walling people out if they're coming at you from the air. And he just has to be a lot more careful with some of these dash attacks that he's been throwing out. Well, dash attack for Greninja is kind of like his bread and butter unleashes his whole kit. Uh, MJ has been playing at a really solid, like, air to ground. So he's not super reliant on some of these, on some of the aerial approaches that are grounded approaches that Rob will do. Did you did you see the sneak right there? The uh, MJ went for the up smash and just barely before that could hit the down tilt into up smash from Jay Grunt was enough to take the stock though. And now they're both sitting deep in the red, a sour spot on the downer, but with no tech. That's gonna be Jay Grunt on his last stock. And now Rob has this lead. Let's see how uh, MJ can really play to it. I love the discipline that MJ has been showing, even at these high percents. He knows that Jay Grunt ha and Greninja has the he is one of the premier kill confirms in down to up smash or dash attack fair all of this crazy stuff so he's like okay i'll just go to I'm just hold shield i'm just gonna hold shield and you're gonna have to beat me and eventually jake Grunt finds the way there but that's such a solid setup thus far to the end of this game one yeah, if he keeps making jay grunt have to play around his neutral then eventually MJ's just gonna start slipping and sliding away with this game and pull away ever so slightly. 56 to nine isn't a huge lead, but it's one that's gonna weigh on Jay Grunt's mind as he tries to keep getting in and play around these platforms. Being said, okay, now the percent is starting to go up. There was a really solid period there where Jay Grunt wasn't really taking a lot of damage. Oh, is that enough? Wow, great job catching the roll off of the ledge, and that's gonna be a huge, huge game one for MJ. Yeah, I mean, he, he kind of held center. He held the center of Battlefield, and it's very small, like, circle of this middle so well that Jay Grunt ended up hopping around platforms like Greninja can do, but a, 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 excuse me, MJ, not Jay Grunt, MJ stayed strong, stayed steady, and knew that as soon as he got one ledge situation, then 
he could prevail. It was just a matter of forcing that. But he didn't try to literally force it. He just waited for it to come to him. Their power couple name would be MJ Grunt, by the way. It's true. This is true. We Do we ship it here in chat? <laughs> do we, do we ship it? We'll see how this, like, let's see how this set goes. <laughs> I'm never above shipping two players. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just think they're looking really good together. But anyway, uh, here we have now game. We're gonna the counter pick is PS2. Uh, how do you feel about this as the counter pick in the matchup? It's base. And what what I really felt like Jay Grunt was struggling with it towards the end of that game was trying to maintain advantage. Like he'd get his hits in and he'd get his combos, but they would kind of end there. Ideally, this stage gives him a lot more space to move, but there's also a lot less space to go towards that blast zone on these either of these ledges as MJ takes a huge early lead. I was mean. massive, an expert edge guard also. If you notice the way he was able to pull out these long lasting hitboxes with the back air to actually clip. And now, yeah, Jay Grunt is kind of struggling here. Once again, going for those counters and Jay Grunt, uh, sorry, MJ rather, isn't even biting. He's not trying to catch the landing. He's like, no, I'm in a commanding position. I don't want to leave the corner where I've set up, even if it's just chase you down. No, it's not worth it. I have the lead. I've earned this right to sit here and do nothing. What was really great there it was Jay Grunt theoretically had stage control. He could cover a lot more ground, but MJ is maximizing the space that he's given and the knowledge that he ha is holding a stock lead even by such minimal percent at this point like he could die at any moment but as long as he's forcing jay grunt to approach then he should be feeling rather comfortable yeah but you know <laughs> we were recommending him for his patience but now when you look at the percents here perhaps he wasn't taking every opportunity he could have only 30 percent on jay grunt now that this now the slowed down pace seems to be able to get some chip damage here but if the stock man, like if, if Jacob takes the stock here, it's still a very even game despite the super early stock that he had to suffer. But always keeping his back towards center, he's trying to maximize as much damage as he can. 172 now, and this is the benefit of holding shield against Greninja, but that getting getting caught jumping from ledge. 64 though, like this is nothing that Jagron and Greninja can't come back from, but it also is nothing to sneeze at either. If you're both oh. players, you're feeling rather comfortable. Oh, but what you're not gonna feel comfortable with is being trapped at the ledge against MJ's Rob. Look at this, it's just again and again. We saw how earlier that the, the getup attack from the ledge works, but now there were like four sequences back to back where MJ just countered exactly what Jay Grunt was trying to do and that ended with his stock being completely evaporated. Yeah, that's a that's a rough to see. Is he okay? I thought he was gonna try and push back to stage with some sort of back air and get absolutely stuffed. MJ keeping up the platform pressure, man. MJ knows how to really make make certain that you never really feel as safe as you want to. But here is MJ with a comeback. Oh, that possibly could have been really big, but in the end, the tech roll away saves MJ from possibly the worst of that combo. And now 92%, he misses the tech. That's 113%, and once again at the ledge, I love the movement right there. Actually able to turn that situation around. He's not out of it, but this is a very scary place to be. 130 uh, on and again. once more trapped in the corner. He didn't have gyro access, which made that ledge trap a whole lot safer to get around. Uh, just going with the, the simple neutral got up into the jump. Jay Grunt knows that all he needs is one. He needs one dash attack, and he's going to try and make use of these water shurikens until he can. Uh -oh, Should be it, though. No, great mash out. Oh, he's just spacing now. He's he's uh, very aware that the next grab, the next dash attack the next anything could lead to or outright be his demise again these mashes are crazy that's i i cannot believe it it's like a mario party mini game out here yeah, my oh, man's that's great at domination but he's not so good at the reaction ones i couldn't think of one off the top of my head but mj takes that game with the neutral getup call out winning on ledge like he did for pretty much that entire game yeah the, 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 i think you summed it up the Game was won at the ledge. That's where everything came down to. And by the end, Jay Grunt actually started to adapt really well, going for these ledge hops, going for these very 
cheeky movements weaving in between the, the projectile and Rob's hitboxes, but it kind of happened too late in the game. By the time he started really implementing that, he was already down an entire full stock. And then all, all MJ needed to do was just read him properly once at the ledge. And that was all that was required. <laughs>